The following information is intended exclusively for qualified personnel. Observe the safety regulations concerning the handling of fuel. The fuel delivery module and fuel tank sender unit which Motor Service offers for the vehicles listed are different from the components installed by the vehicle manufacturers. These differences are the result of continuous further development. This means that the fuel module from Motor Service is suitable for E10. It also has a lower current consumption with the same performance. When ordering, make sure that you specify the exact engine type and any possible delineation by chassis number, engine ID code and model year. Viewed in the direction of travel, the fuel module is located on the right-hand side of the saddle tank. The sender unit is located on the left-hand side. Electrical and fuel lines running through the narrowest point of the two tank sides connect the fuel module and fuel tank sender unit. When replacing the fuel tank sender unit, the side of the fuel module must also be opened in order to detach the lines on this side as well. The fuel module does not have an electrical connection in the flange cover. The power is supplied by means of the connector plug on the fuel tank sender unit. On the sender unit from motor service, both return lines are joined into one line by a Y connector. The return line from motor service therefore only has one connection. The 90-degree quick connector for the pressure line is identical. The sender unit and fuel module can be replaced either individually or as a pair by the corresponding motor service components. This results in four installation situations. If no replacement has yet been performed, this is the installation position which you will encounter. The pressure line is connected directly to the fuel pump by a 90-degree quick connector. Both return lines are clipped into the fuel module. The plug of the electrical line leading to the sender unit is located under the two return lines. The following installation situation arises if only the fuel module is replaced. Due to the restricted installation space, we will show you this outside of the fuel tank for better visibility. Connect the pressure line with a 90-degree quick connector onto the straight piece of tubing on the fuel pump. Clip both return lines into place on the fuel module. Insert the plug for the electrical line to the sender unit into place on the fuel module. The following sequence shows the installation situation if only the sender unit is replaced. Insert the electrical plug of the sender unit into the socket below the return line. Clip the return line with a straight quick connector into one of the two free supports on the fuel module. Connect the pressure line with the 90 degree quick connector directly onto the fuel pump. Finally, you can see the combination if you are replacing the fuel module and the fuel tank sender unit. Connect the pressure line with the 90 degree quick connector onto the straight piece of tubing on the fuel pump. Clip the return line with a straight quick connector into one of the two free supports on the fuel module. 
Insert the plug for the electrical line to the sender unit into place on the fuel module. Carefully route the fuel lines and electrical lines through the narrowest point of the two halves of the tank. Insert the fuel module and sender unit into the fuel tank so that the arrow on the flange cover points towards the marking on the fuel tank. When replacing the fuel tank sender unit, the piece of tubing of the flow line must be shortened to approximately 80 mm and the 90 degree quick connector enclosed must be mounted. For more information, contact your local motor service partner directly or visit the web addresses shown.